Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys my super quick, fast face routine that I do every single day. It is only four products. This is not the face, okay? I went all out at the end. I was like, let me just do my brows, my lashes, and my lips. But this is not how I look every day. I'm going to show you what I do and then we'll just move on to this because like I say in the video, I want to take some like IG pics today. So I was like, let me just do the full shabang, shabang since we are sitting here. So everything is super duper easy. Super easy, low maintenance. Again, I don't look like this every single day, but you will see how I look every single day. So before we get into the actual video, I gotta slide in a little Audible plug. You guys know that I have been partnered with them forever now. I love Audible. They have an unmatched selection of audiobooks. Their app just keeps getting better and better. There are podcasts, there are sleep and meditation. They also have Audible originals that you can only find, obviously, on the Audible app. So before I tell you the audiobook that I am currently loving and almost all the way through, if you guys wanna try Audible for yourself, you can go to audible.com slash Nicole whatever you want they have it I also love that if you download a book and you don't like the book you can just return it and download yourself a new one and start listening all over again so I am currently oh you guys can't even see it you can't even see it right so I'm currently listening to Dune I know that the movie is about to drop so I always like the book versions better. So I was like, I have to give it a listen. Uh, I think it originally came out like in the 80s and it is a sci-fi novel and it is really, really good. Like, I love that how this one is narrated. There's the narrator's voice and then there's different characters. Usually like when you're listening to an audiobook, it's like one person. This one has like a bunch of different people in it. I use Audible myself to relax. And like I said, they have the sleep and meditation, which is really, really nice. I listen to it at night when I just wanna like zen out. So if for some reason you yourself have still not tried Audible, I'm gonna tell you again. Go to audible.com slash Nicole. You get a 30 day free trial and you can start listening to whatever you want. If you're a little stressed out and you need a little moment, girl, Audible's got you. Okay, so shall we get started? I'm gonna pin this hair back so we can get on to the even more simple makeup look that I do every single day so that I don't look like I'm like asleep talking to people because this is what I look like normally cheese <laughs> so like i told you guys at the beginning i'm gonna jazz it up a little bit today because i want to take some ig pics so i'm just gonna do a little more but i'm gonna show you just straightforward how i look regularly so i'm gonna moisturize my skin because i have it this morning so i'm just gonna use this skin one that i have here look at my sd card that had all my vlog footage on it it fell off the counter because you know how like mac computers you have to have like that little attachment and then you put your sd card in well fish was on the counter while my footage was importing fish is my cat and she's very jumpy something spooked her laptop went flying and it went palm right on to that little attachment and right onto my sd card so it looks like somebody literally chewed on this so there's that footage um but i will have a vlog coming soon i'm just trying to do a little catch up and get some footage for it if you guys were wondering um but i talk about like my pregnancy and that but i'll give you guys a little update that it's just been going good i'm currently 25 weeks and three days four days something like that um and my only thing so far is i'm just sleepy it's been pretty easy so far. Again, I'm only 25 weeks. I'm assuming that the harder things come towards the end. I do have heartburn all the time, um, but I've just been eating Tums and drinking like almond milk. I feel like whenever I drink a protein shake, it really helps to like soothe it. And I really swear that my water gives me heartburn, but I still have to drink it. Like I drink like, I drink so many of these a day and I also pee like, I don't know. 56 times a day which is insane like sir what, what are you doing in there he's moving around a lot which is really cool <sighs> yeah it's been it's been pretty easy so far i'm noticing that it is getting a little bit harder to get up or to bend down like i was cleaning this room the other day and i was like literally crawling on my hands and knees to do stuff because like i felt like i like couldn't bend down i feel like i'm gonna like tip forward or something crazy like that but all in all it's been good and I'll update you guys more in the vlog but I just want to let you know what happened to the vlog footage and that's why there hasn't that's why there hasn't been any because what is this so now that we are feeling moisturized we can get on to the easiest makeup routine of life hopefully you guys can hear me because my mic was 38 years away from me 
Hopefully this is better. All right, first thing that I put on is this Fenty Bright Fix. This is an eye brightener and I use it in number three, Seashell. So I just do a little here. This product is really magical. Again, I use it in three. And then for the rest of my face, I picked up this Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer the other day when I was with my mom at Ulta. It was just like a random buy. I wanted it for underneath my eyes, but the shade five is actually too dark, but it's actually perfect for spot concealing on my face because like I said, um, sometimes I just wanna cover up a little bit of redness, even though my rosacea has been pretty under control. Um, there are just like some little spots that I like to conceal. And I feel like it does a really, good job of just looking like skin. So I'm always red. So I'll do the little spots first. Get that guy by my lip. And then it's always red under here and my nose always gets red. And then I'll just do like a little here on the cheek. And then I just do, that's even more than I usually do. But you know, we're gonna take some pics today. So why not? Why not make it cute? Um, I do feel like the magic lies in this Sephora brush as well. This is the Pro Foundation 64 brush. And I'm gonna start to blend out this concealer. Do you see how nice that looks? It really, it really is magical. So I do wanna go back and get it for underneath my eyes because I haven't tried it underneath the eyes. So I don't know if it's like great under there, but like on the face, it's, it's really good. <laughs> It just, it doesn't look like you have makeup on, which I really, really like. It somehow transforms into skin. And you can see like a little bit goes a long way. So I'm not really concerned about it like being back here. I mainly push it back there for color. Like so everything color matches. Get under here and the nose. I don't know why you're always so red under there. The forehead. I love this brush so much. They came out with like a little mini version and I want the mini version. <laughs> I just saw it like the other day. Like, get that off of your lips so your lips look normal. But it just, you just look like skin instantly and it's crazy to me. And I feel like it doesn't settle in your lines or anything. And it just, I don't know, it really is like a magic concealer. So I use that in number five. And then for my under eyes, we'll just tap this in real quick. I know I haven't concealed my nose yet, don't worry. And then we'll pull that down just so we get some brightness happening on these cheeks but I keep these I don't even keep these products in here anymore I keep them in my bathroom drawer and I just do this like in the morning like I do my skincare and then I just do this so that like I'm ready for the day we'll put it on the lids so that that looks nice and bright and then we'll go back in with our magical brush here and blend that all in Like, look how nice that, like, under eye looks. It just, it's not really a concealer, it's an eye brightener. So you could use this and then use a concealer on top. But I just don't, I just don't find the need to do that. And then we'll just blend that little bit of concealer that's on the nose. And now we are even, we are bright. It's so crazy. You could, like, get all close up on your skin and you, you still look like skin. And then my last step is I add a little bit of color to the skin. This is the Milani Cream Blush in You're a Peach. I'm kind of like into like this little orangey vibe. I was like very into like a pink shade earlier this year, but I've moved on to this little orangey tone. I also think that it's always funny that we like conceal our redness and then we like put it back. It's like I would like the redness, but only in specific parts of my face. So this is also a Sephora brush. This is actually a contour brush, but I really like it for the cheeks because I feel like it doesn't pop like a lot of product on and it does a good job at diffusing it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of color back to the skin so we look lively. Cream blush is just like really user friendly too. It's not like overpowering and it just blends really easily. And then you could go in with your fingers and kind of diffuse it more. And I don't set it because I feel like when I set it, it just doesn't doesn't give you like as natural of a flush because this will just kind of sink into your skin throughout the day obviously you got to do the nose too but yeah this is what I do every day this is it one two three we're done that's it 
So yeah, this is my everyday face. I'm gonna jazz it up a little more, like I said, but it's it's just these. It's just these four products. We have the Fenty Eye Bright, we have the Anastasia Magic Concealer, we have a little bit of cream blush, and the Summer Fridays Lip Balm. It just helps me to not feel so tired. <laughs> But I'm gonna pick it up a little more today. So I'm gonna do my brows, I'm gonna do my lashes, and I'm going to do a little lip liner. So the first thing I'm gonna do is my brows, which I haven't done in a hot minute. So I use the Got To Be Glued um, hair gel to get my laminated look because I'm pretty sure you can't get your brows laminated when you're pregnant. I'm not positive. Clearly I'm not an expert here, but I don't think that you can. I feel like I saw that somewhere, so I haven't been getting my brows laminated or doing it myself. So the got to be glued, I just put a little bit on my hand and then like a little spoolie. This gives you like a good faux brow lamination. And if you wanna try it on yourself before you get your brows laminated, it's like a good little test situation. If I were doing my foundation, I would do my brows first because this will kind of mess up your foundation on your forehead. But since we have just like a little bit of concealer up there, it's fine. It just gives them like that little fluffed out look. So I'm just gonna let that dry and then we'll come back and um, fill them in because this needs some filling in over here and then clean them up. And then I do a little lash primer. This one's from Lancome, it's their Booster XL. Then I like to go in with the Rare Beauty Mascara. I'm not really sure what the name of this is, but I'll pop it in the bottom bar. I really like this mascara. It's like a drier formula but I really like it on the lash. And while everything's still wet, I'm gonna go in also with the Essence Lash Princess. This is the sculpted volume. I like this wand. So it's got like a little curve in it. I feel like it's easy to get into your, to like follow the natural shape. And I'm gonna curl these again. And then for the lip, I'm just gonna wipe off our balm, hit it with our foundation brush, and then I'm gonna go in and line it with the ColourPop Beeper Lip Liner. This is my current favorite. So I go between using the Artist Couture, this is the Silky Lip Oil, and the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in Vanilla Beige. Like, it's a little bit of tint to it. Let's just do both today. I love the Silky Lip Oil. I don't know what it is about it. See how it gives like a little color down there? I don't remember the last time I like wore like an actual lipstick. And then we'll do a little bit of the Summer Fridays. This has a little more color to it. And that's it. <laughs> and this is my completed face when everything is all done. Like my three extra steps take four times the amount as it does to put those three first steps on. The majority of the time, it's just those four things. I only do like lips, lashes, and brows if I'm gonna take some pics or Mainly, it's just if I'm gonna take pics. Let me be honest. <laughs> As always, I will have all the products listed in the bottom bar, so I don't have anything else. So yeah, I don't think I have anything else to tell you, except I love you. So yeah, I don't think I have anything else to tell you, except I love you guys, and... So yeah, that's it for me. I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys, except I love you, and I hope you enjoyed. Yo, this pregnancy brain? I've been saying the same sign-off on my YouTube channel for how long? What do I say? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. No, that, that just sounds wrong. Okay, I'm just gonna go. I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you super soon in a new video. Hopefully the next video is a vlog. <laughs> Bye guys.